Okay, so this is not for the squeamish. Uh, my passenger door, rear door on the Nissan would not open. Okay, the inside handle wouldn't work and the outside handle wouldn't work. Okay, which is all the way up here. So how do you get this panel off? Okay, this is a 2004, so I wasn't particularly worried about doing any interior damage. Uh, I went after this first, nothing. I went after that screw, nothing. I couldn't get in here. Um, I ended up ripping this right through uh, the fiber board that's on the other side. And then I went after this. I got up under here, okay? And, and with a, with a, after I got this out, I was able to get a screwdriver up in there high enough where I was able to pry this out, pry it out, pry it out, and then work it right up from here. Stick a screwdriver in there, get this plastic away from this rubber, and let this ride right out of here like this and pull it out, okay? The result is that. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty, but it is fixable. Most of the damage is where it can't be seen. So, what was wrong? I'm not exactly sure just yet. Uh, I went in here. One of these rods is for the lock mechanism. One of them is for this handle. Okay, so the other one's a lock. And then I had to, with the seat up, to give me a little bit more room, I was able to reach into here and go all the way up and I was able to feel the rod that runs in here. The rod runs from the handle. Okay, see how it's floppy? Runs from there straight down to the lock. And I can feel that by going down through here and up and you can feel it, it's, it's right about here, really, is where it is, it's right about here. And I was able to manually open that with my hand. Okay, so that's how I got the door open. Not exactly pretty, but all this can be fixed. Once I get the rest of the door panel off, I can put some washers behind those screws and screw it all back together, not a big deal.